is this guy right here. We become good friends throughout the years. I've known him for the 90s. And he was the guy, how many remember the show That's Incredible from the 80s? Remember that show? So this guy literally called That's Incredible and sent him a letter and told him about breaking. And um, eventually, he took the guy serious and they put him on the show. And that's when breaking was first exposed nationally before the movies came out. Now, he is from a legendary crew called the Dynamic Rockers. I'm, I'm gonna take the stairs because I'm all old. More experience, I'm actually more experience. How you guys doing? First of all, how about a big round of applause for Speedy? We just keep fighting for this and um, we're all here united. I haven't seen these people in a long time. It has been a, 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 a amazing to relive and talk to the guys that made me better in this game and we made them better. And some of the people that learned from both of us from different teams and the hybrids that are here. And um, look, the future seems bright to me. And um, I'm, I'm just honored and excited to be here. And uh, maybe later I'll do a suicide and land on my back and stuff. Side note, I'm glad his son Kiglai is an incredible b-boy as well, and the second time we brought Pro-Am to New York, we did it with his son uh, out in Brooklyn. He helped us put the whole thing together then. And I think that we're the longest lasting crew, right? We're the only ones that have been there from the beginning to now. Well, I have that for New York City Breakers here. Yeah, so I have they're not dancing, dancing though, they're not dancing though. I, uh, come on, you want to call them out? They're oh, not yeah, dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can have a rematch. Let's do it. We can have a rematch, the Floor Masters versus Dynamic Rock. There's only me, man, that's not fair. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's more of us than him. And everybody knows of the New York City Breakers, right? The crew, Beach Street. Excuse me, sir. No, nobody called you over here. Go next fellow, that I, my next judge, my next judge that I want to introduce, this guy, incredible style. He helped me understand the essence of finesse. And he's also from the legendary Floor Masters and Magnificent Force and was also in the movie Beat Street. So, Fast Break, please come to the stage. Thank you. You know what? Thank you all for your participation. Thank you for letting me allow me to be here. I forgot, I did forgot. I was down with Dynamic Rockers at one point. So that's my brother right there. For life. I want to thank my brothers, the New York City Breakers, and the Islamists, the Floor Masters, that we used to practice so hard to get the way we were and how to be better to evolve to a whole different level of dance. My specialty was footwork, combinations, and, um, and I am C too, so I'm not a dumb no joke with that. And um, I do golf work, so. Um, I'm here to do for these kids today, because it's not about me, it's for the kids. It's about to go to another different level. And um, I think you all, you guys can give yourself a round of applause. Come on, I do it. I do it, I got a little name. But to get to the idea, I want to wish all these other kids over here grace and speed and finesse and prosperity with these guys go up. Keep it going, guys. Take it up. Peace. So I also have Mr. Action in the house, the mighty Chino from the New York City Breakers. Now, um, guys, kids, I'm gonna explain this to you and it applies also to the adults. So, when the Olympics first started, going into breaking, I was approached by a gentleman from France, and I was actually the first guy he reached out to because I sent him a copy of my blueprint just to let them know that I was official in what I was doing and if they wanted to work with breaking and becoming an Olympic sport, I can talk to them. So he was pretty cool in the beginning. And then the scene got infiltrated by certain individuals 
that wanted to delegate the art form in their aspect of the sport. And some of them were European. No offense to the Europeans, because they really take breaking seriously. When you go to an event in Europe, you're talking about 10,000 people at a people event. And here we have like a few hundred. So, America was sleeping on breaking. America didn't care about breaking. They thought it was something from the past. They didn't realize that there were soldiers like us fighting for its position. So, they created a handbook that was 100 pages long on how to judge 